Well, doctors across the country are dealing with the soaring demand for injectable weight loss drugs, especially among people who are not clinically obese. Drugs like Ozempic and Magovi have proven to be especially effective for weight loss, but some health experts are worried that their increased use could be costly and potentially harmful to certain patients. So joining me now for a closer look at some of these potentially dangerous side effects is Dr. Shauna Levy. She is the medical director of Tulane's Bariatric and Weight Loss Center. Thanks for joining us, doctor. So I imagine that you are getting a lot of patients who are asking about these drugs, and you're probably prescribing it to the patients who or qualify or need. But this conversation is about people maybe going to their general practitioner, people who are not actually well trained when it comes to dealing with obesity, um, being fielding these requests for these drugs. Have you been hearing about either patients or other doctors who are feeling under pressure to prescribe these drugs to people who maybe don't, don't necessarily need it? Yeah, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I mean, I think that, um, you know, there's so much conversation about these medications out in society that it's hard for people to understand exactly who these medications are indicated for. Mm -hmm. um, medications like Wagovi are indicated for clinical obesity, which means a body mass index of 27 with a comorbid condition or a body mass index of 30 and you don't necessarily need one. And yes, I think you're right. You know, people are going to really anyone that they can, that will listen yeah. and asking, will you prescribe these medications for me? Um, you know, there's a lot of regulation from insurance that people aren't getting it paid for. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, there's a lot of confusion amongst the public as to who can get get their hands on the medication. I'm glad you clarified that because uh, if you're willing to pay the full price and you're willing to find a practitioner who can prescribe it to you, you could probably get it. Um, and I, you know, I feel like every month we're hearing like something else about like this, these wonder drugs and semaglutide, which is like the, 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 the chemical that's, that's doing the work there. Uh, you know, I think a while back it was, oh, you know, if you're dealing with alcohol, it can relieve your uh, cravings for alcohol. Just, I think last week or this week, we heard about helping to reduce heart attacks or strokes. And every time we do one of these stories, I think this is another excuse that people are going to have to go ask their doctor for one of these drugs when really they just want to lose like 15 pounds or so. So can we just go over again? Who is the ideal and the proper patient for these drugs? Yeah, well, honestly, to your point, these drugs truly seem too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Like it's hard to believe that there's so many good things with really minimal side effects. But yeah, you have to have, right now it's only FDA approved for clinical obesity. Of course, in the future, that might change. Um, Ozembic, which is, you know, a medication that's indicated for diabetes, and Wagovi is a medication that's indicated for obesity, um, but Ozembic also has a cardiac indication, mm -hmm. so not just diabetes, but if you're at high risk for cardiac disease, the problem is, you know, of course, insurance is the one who decides who's going to that they're gonna pay for these medications often don't cover it for the cardiac indication. So it's tricky with these medications mm. because it's not just what are they FDA approved for, it's how are you gonna get it paid for? Cause they are expensive as you mentioned. So really quickly, if you wanna lose 10 pounds, why isn't this drug good for you? You know, I, I, there's no data um, to that we haven't studied this in yeah. people who only have 10 pounds to lose. And we know that diet and exercise is effective in losing about 4% of your total body weight loss. So for a lot of people who have just a small amount of weight to lose, you know, adjusting your diet and exercising should be effective to lose 10 pounds. Right. Um, but, you know, if it's more complicated than that, and you have other medical problems going on, then it's worth talking to your doctor. I mean, there are other medications on the market that are indicated for less weight loss. Um, it's not just these medications. It's just that these medications are wildly popular. And so that's <laughs> dominating the conversation. Right, right, right. There are a lot of things to, to, to get that, that can help you out long before you get uh, to the level where you're asking for these uh, medications. Dr. Shauna Levy, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.